Beijing is substantially building up its military forces, including nuclear weapons, without any transparency. It is attempting to assert control over the South China Sea and threatening Taiwan, trying to take control of critical infrastructure, including in NATO countries. Foundations, NATO, NATO Japan relations, and I'm really grateful that you. Moscow and Beijing are deepening their strategic partnership. The two countries train and operate more together militarily, conducting joint naval and air patrols also in the vicinity of Japan. Their economic cooperation is increasing, and China has not condemned Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Assuming that the professors are kind enough to comply with time limits, hopefully, we will do a second round. We don't regard China as an adversary. Uh, and uh, we don't seek confrontation with China, or actually we don't seek confrontation with anyone. NATO is a defensive alliance. Uh, and, and, and we will continue to engage with China on issues where we uh, see common or potential uh, common uh, interest on arms control, uh, on climate change, and other issues. Uh, question, uh, which is probably one of the most difficult uh, questions regarding contemporary strategy, and that is... At the same time, <coughs> um, uh, we will be uh, remiss if we did not expose the challenges that China poses to our security, to our values and to our interests.